Hello knowledge seekers, this is Shoman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. Nowadays we are discussing about the leak testing. In the last video we have discussed about the helium sniffer testing. If you have not listened to it, please go through it. This is actually runs in the same uh, principle what we are going to discuss today, which is mass spectrometer leak testing. This is also a way to detect very small leaks across a pressure boundary using helium gas. The helium leak test is conducted with the use of a mass spectrometer. So basically we are discussing the same as we discussed in the last video. So let us see some ways how to detect leaks here. The mass spectrometer is calibrated to detect the presence of helium molecules. Helium molecules are very small. So using helium as a tracer gas will find very small leaks that other leak tests may not found. This can be conducted one of the three ways, detector probe technique, tracer probe technique or hood technique. The first one, detector probe helium leak test is conducted by pressurizing a component with helium gas and then scanning the component by sniffing for the presence of helium with the detector probe. The mass spectrometer is monitored to verify the presence of helium gas. When you are going to repair the AC system for your car, they are using a kind of meter. This is actually sniffer, which is sniffing the leakage of the AC refrigerant gas. So it is a similar kind of technology. The tracer probe test is conducted by placing the component under a vacuum and connecting it to the mass spectrometer. The tracer probe is then used to spray helium around the component under the test. If a leakage is present, the helium will be drawn into the part due to the differential pressure. The mass spectrometer is monitored to verify the presence of helium leakage. The hood test, the third one, is conducted by placing a component under a vacuum and connected to mass spectrometer. A hood or envelope is then established around a portion of the component under test, such as the tube sheet bundle of a heat exchanger. The hood, which is normally made of a plastic material or bag, is then filled with a helium to test a large area at one time. If a leak is present, the helium will be drawn into the part due to differential pressure. The mass spectrometer is monitored to verify the presence of helium leakage. Helium leak test and mass spectrometer testing is performed on many components in the nuclear, chemical, aerospace industries among others. In my last video, I have discussed the application in in a bit detail. It is imperative to ensure a component passes a helium leak test to ensure it is leak tight. Some components such as heat exchangers must be tested to ensure that the gases and or liquids are not mixing due to a leak which could be extremely detrimental to operations. Other components need helium leak test to ensure that they are vacuum tight. If a leak present and air or other gases or liquids were drawn into the system, system performance could be drastically impacted in a negative way. Uh, since our leak testing main methods I have discussed, uh, let us have uh, a look of some leak testing equipments. Air leak testing devices have displayed that shows inspector data from ongoing leak tests. You can see these uh, pictures with the, in the slides and I'm reading it for you. These devices can be used for a variety of types of leak testing, including vacuum decay, pressure decay, burst, chamber and others. Larger display leak testers have larger screens, greater internal capacity, larger test volumes and allow for faster testing. Compact pressure decay tester. This kind of compact leak tester can be placed close to the fixture being used in leak testing, allowing the inspector to reduce the amount of connection volume needed for the test. The reduction in volume allows for a decrease in the time needed for the leak test and an increase in the test sensitivity. 
Inspectors use leak standards to define the parameters of the leak test by creating a simulated leak in the parts under test or to compare multiple leak systems with each other. Leak testing standards and codes, all international mentioned here. If you have a client standard, also both should be compared. Generally, client standards or local standard referring to these international standards, which is mentioned in this slide. Some of the ASME society standards, ASME, B31.3, it is a very popular standard for process piping. ASTME 432, 493, 499, 1003, 1047, 1603, ASTM F2164, 2786-2930 and also some international standards ISO 20484 this is for the vocabulary and 20485 for tracer gas, gas methods 20486 calibration of reference leaks for gases and 20895 is for the valve leak test we have covered the brief details of all the leak testing methods in this series. If you like the way of my teaching and my videos, please do not forget to hit the like button. Inspire your friends who are interested in this type of uh, videos to share my channel. Consider to subscribe my channel if you want to get this type of video notification as soon as I post. Thanks a lot. Signing off. Showman for today.